What we're looking at in this presentation is how to calculate market growth. Uh, we have done a, an, another presentation which goes together with this one, which is on calculating market share, and it's advisable to look at the two of these, um, at, you know, either consecutively or possibly together. Um, this is an area that some students do struggle with a little bit, uh, but hopefully by the end of this presentation you'll feel more comfortable with it. Now there is a calculation that you do need to do um, for, to, to be able to calculate market growth, and that is a very important calculation in A-level business studies, and that's calculating uh, a percentage change. So what we're going to be doing now is just taking a quick look at how to calculate percentage change. Okay, what we're going to be looking at now is how to calculate percentage change. That will be either a percentage increase or a percentage decrease. It's actually really easy to do once you know how to do it. Let's imagine that in 2012, a car dealer had sold 40 cars. Then, in 2013, he does it a little bit better and he sells 45 cars. What we want to find out is what is the percentage increase in sales. And what we need to do is first of all look at the increase. Now it's gone up from 40 to 45, therefore the percentage change, the increase in this case, is 5. And we do the change divided by the original. The original was 40. You originally sold 40 cars. And then we multiply it by 100 to turn that into a percentage. And if you use your calculator and do 5 divided by 40 times 100, you should find that that will come to 12.5%. And that's how we do calculation on percentage change. So for calculating market growth, um, you will need, need that calculation, calculating percentage change. And what we're looking at is the change in the market size divided by the original market size. So just two pieces of information that you need to go into the case study and look for. The size of the, uh, uh, the, the original size of the market, or the, the total value of the market perhaps, and then we want to see how much it's going to change by over a specific time period. Divide that change by the original, multiply by 100, and that will give you your answer. Um, and just a quick reminder again that this is a really important calculation to be able to do for, <coughs> for a, AS and A2 level business study, so make sure that you can do this please. Okay, we're gonna, you're going to need a pen and paper and a calculator as always, and in this particular case you need a copy of the coffee and a cake case study from January 2013, available as always on Moodle, and also available from the AQA website if you prefer to get it from there, and um, that's the January 2013 paper. So if you just make sure that you've got those items in front of you, please. So a pen, paper, a ruler, sorry, a pen, paper, a calculator, and a copy of the case study. <coughs> okay, now we're going to scroll down to the relevant question. And the relevant question, obviously, is going to be on calculating uh, the change in the market size. Here it is, 1C. Calculate to one decimal place the expected percentage rate of market growth of the coffee shop market in Camford from 2013 to 2014. And they do tell you that they want you to find a percentage rate because it is possible for you just simply to do a subtraction and say, well, it was a certain size, now it's a bit smaller or it's going to be a bit bigger. And, you know, just take one away from the other. And that's not really what they're looking for. They want the percentage rate. We're also looking at the expected because this particular paper comes from 2013 and we were looking at what they think is going to happen between 2013 and 2014. Once again this needs to be done to one decimal place um, and so you just need to make sure that at the end of the case study that, that you, you've done that correctly otherwise you could lose a mark. And this is really a straightforward question. Um, I, I suggested in, in one of the other in the um, presentation on market share that you aim to find a year, and I think that would be the best way to do it this way too. And what this time what we're looking for are two years, 2013 to 2014. So let's go up into the case study and see if we can find those two years. Now hopefully they'll be together 
If they are together, that will make life a lot easier for us. If they're separated, then, then we have to put them together in some way or another. You can see here <coughs> that in the first paragraph, there's no mention of any years, no mention of any years in the second paragraph. But in the third paragraph, in the middle, we've actually got all of the information that we need right there. That's it. Don't need any more information than that. We can see above that that it talks about the coffee shop market in Camford. So we're obviously in the right place. And we can see that it says that the market size was expected to increase. So what we're looking at here is that the, the original market size was 8.4 million in 2013. The question wants us to, to calculate the percentage change. It's gone up from, or it's expected to grow from 8.4 million in 2013 to 9 million in 2014. So what you need to do is to calculate the difference between those two figures <coughs> and then divide that by the original market size in 2013. And of course multiply by 100 and that will give you your answer. Okay, so hopefully you, you'll be able to do that without any problems whatsoever. Um, but put this on pause now, have a go and then you can check your answers when you're finished. Okay, let's go back to the PowerPoint and have a look at the answers. Here's a question again at the top. Calculate to one decimal place the expected percentage rate of market growth. Um, down here then we've got a bit of information that you would need. Hopefully, the first thing that you would have done is to put in the calculation at the percentage change of market growth, because we are talking about percentage change here, not just uh, a change. Because a change could just be the subtraction, couldn't it? Um, you could have said, well, 8 point uh, 9 minus 8.4 is 0 0.6, so therefore the change is 0 0.6, but we're looking for the percentage change. Now put in your um, correct wording, change in the market size of the original market size times 100, and that will give you one mark, even if you get all, all of the rest of the calculation incorrect. Uh, hopefully what you should find is that you've got your 9 minus 8.4, 0.6, divided by the original size of the market, 8.4. Each of those items will give you one mark, and then times 100, and your final answer, 7.1%, gives you your final mark, um, and that's your three marks there. Once again, it is a three mark question, and you don't pick up four marks, obviously, in a three mark question, but you would pick up that mark uh, for, for your working if you did everything else incorrectly. If it were a four mark question, then you would actually get that as an additional mark. Um, so it's really important to put in your your um, the, the line of working before, well, to put in all the lines of working and to write down the actual calculation in words before you put the numbers in. Uh, let's just double check on the calculator that that um, decimal place is correct. I can't imagine that it would be wrong, but if we just do 0.6, divided by 8.4, that equals that, and then times 100 comes to 7.142. The 7.14 is closer to 7.1 than it is to 7.2, therefore we finish up with 7.1 because we wanted this correct to one decimal place. If you had put it in a 7.2, you would probably have lost that last mark, but you would still have picked up two out of three. And um, that's it really, that's how you do calculating uh, a change in the size of a market.